and that is your bug out bag. Because in your bug out bag, it's going to be a lot different mine down here in Florida to somebody in Canada, Dakotas, Alaska, or wherever else. It's going to be totally different, folks. Because you have to plan on the area you're in. Now, where it gets tricky with your bug out bag is if you have to leave your home, because let's face it, I mean, more than likely 98% of people, if the, the shit hits the fan, you're going to be staying put in your home because a lot of people, one, probably aren't able to travel long distances or walk long distances. So for the other 2%, if you have plans and you're going to be going to another area, maybe another state and everything else, because you have family there, you have, maybe you have a cabin, maybe you have, you know, land, whatever it may be, your bug out bag has to be very diverse in what you have in it. For the simple fact is you may be going from a warmer to a colder climate or from a cold, war, or cold climate to a warmer climate and you have to have things to adjust. You wouldn't want to come down here and be wearing wool socks and um, a wool shirt and a coat. Same way I wouldn't want to be going up there wearing sandals, shorts, and a t-shirt. And it's 30 below zero outside. You're not going to last too long. You see what I'm saying? So you kind of have to have these balances, but it's all based on your area. And for the maybe the 2% of people that are going to be leaving their areas and taking off and going somewhere else, well, then, you know, I mean, those are what's going to take place. But the key here is, is the government is really coming down hard and they're getting these corporations in their back pocket. And they want to make sure that they can take and they can destroy us as much as they can and put us down and put a stop to what we do and how we prepare and things we need to do some of these different ideas of prepping. You see, they're catching on, folks. And now they're realizing that there's a lot more of us than what they originally thought. And they see the writing on the wall. I'm sure they're out there watching videos like mine and, you know, um, Alaskan Prepper and Canadian Prepper and, um, you know, Survival Living and all these different channels on how to prepare, what to do, how to survive, all these different things. Making sure that you people out there understand and making sure that you people out there that are watching, you know, have a, the knowledge so that you can be prepared for you and your family. Because that's the whole name of the game. I don't care what prepping channel you watch, what YouTube channel you watch or anything else. In the end, whether you agree with whatever is being said by the creator on any of the channels, me included, whether you agree or not. This one thing stands out for all of us. 